guys, Jasmine here, and today we're back in with Dark Souls 3, no weapons, no armor. In a previous time we, took, we made our first steps into the new DLC, and we took care of the Grave Tenders. Now today we're going to move on in the DLC, and we're actually going to go on past that bridge that we saw earlier, and we're going to try and find out what's actually in that castle beyond it. Alright, so here we are again, let's keep moving. Are you? No, you're not hostile. Hello. Well, you look to be unkindled. No bell tolls. And yet you've slipped into the painting. Ah, oh, no matter. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. All right, then. Okay, so I'm guessing that's Lady Freed or whatever. I'm just light this bonfire. Visions of bleeding. Try beating to a pulp. Hi. Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. I am Frida. I have long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. But forlorn thou seemeth not, Ashen One. I know not the missteps which led thee to this painted world. But thy duty is all, and thy duty lieth elsewhere. Return from whence thou camest. I presume it visible to thee, the bonfire here in this room. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. It is she basically telling me to fuck off? <laughs> ah, yes. There is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess. Ours is a chance encounter, to be sure. But perhaps it was meant to be. Let this be a remembrance of this cold world. A thing to help thee bear thy duty. Ooh, chill by now, return from whence thou camest. Thou's to place in that world, and that alone is cause to rejoice. I would have actually talked to this woman. Does this guy have any extra dialogue? Hi. Lady Frida has spoken, has she not? Then tarry no longer, and be gone. There is one thing you should know. Inside the cold painting, curiosity could be your cross. Stray from the withering flame, and the snow will swallow you whole. <laughs> okay, they really don't want me snooping around. Now, come to think of it, the only place I haven't actually been is down the ladder here. So let's go down here, because I've only been like on the other side the entire time, not on this one. So I wonder what's over here. We can go two ways. Let's first go to this way, see what's up here. But if there's nothing, I'll go the other way. Okay, there's definitely something here. Another stone. Not sure what that does, but okay. And some weird looking enemies, but that's fine. I don't mind me, thank you. Just roll away. And now we... Yeah. Okay, I doubt this is the right way, but I guess we'll see. Oh, hello. Hi. Okay, don't mind me. Oh uh, yeah, this seems like a dead end. Oh, maybe not. Hi. Avoid. Art solve an unknown traveler. I'll be taking that. Now go up before you get hit. Thank you. Friend ahead. That's good. I like friends. Amber. Oh, hi. Oh, well. There is nothing forlorn about you. You must be the other Ash, I suppose. Yeah, sure, I am Ash. I mean, they call me the Ashen One, so you know, I am of Ash. Oh, oh finally, you have come. Oh, wondrous Ash, grant us our wish. Make the tales true. And burn this world away. My lady must see flame. And you have only to show her. You are Ash, are you not? 
Is it not fire that you seek? Surely you have seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that witch fooled the good father and buried the flame. After we had all made up our minds, too. So, please, grant us one wish. Make the tales true and burn this world away. My lady must see flame, and you have only to show her. You know what, I'll try. So he says, play with the destroy this world and everyone in it. Okay, sure, why not? I suppose I can do that for him. Hey, another bonfire. Now, past this bridge. Hi guys, don't mind me, thank you. That does not open from this side, okay. That's fine, I don't need to go into there. I'm just gonna move past all these guys. They don't actually seem to be attacking me. Oh, never mind. Oof. What? Just drink once. Get away, get away, get away. Wow, okay, this guy does not fuck around. Ah, oh, try to open the door. Alright, so the guy's fast, but that's okay. So if I can just... Yep, don't, don't mind me, thank you. Okay, just walk up here. No. Crap. Um. Oh no 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 no. Okay, we're fine. Whew. That was cheeky. Don't mind me. Thank you. Right, just keep moving. Really hope this is the right way to go. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem. But it looks like the right way to go. So. I'll just go down from here. And actually, I couldn't open it from the other side, but now I can. Now, let's see. What's over here? Just... I've seen your kind. Time and time again. Every flame must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. Oh crap, okay, I'm pretty sure he's kind of pissed over the fact that I told him I wouldn't be snooping around and I did. However, maybe I can get him off here. Uh, I mean, off the platform. That is it. You want just get him off, yeah, that's what I meant. You know what I meant, screw you. Come on. Ah, uh, he doesn't want to go over here, that's a problem. Maybe I can make him, though, if I just... There we go. And one, and a two. Alright, come on, keep moving. Oh, okay, he does a lot of damage. That's okay, though, because I, I can parry this guy, I'm sure I can. I trust you've learned your lesson. Maybe not. <laughs> Inside the cold painting, curiosity could be your cross. Right, come on, you dick. Come on. And dodge. Ooh. Uh, no, 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 no. Get over here. No. And again. Oof, okay, let's try this again. Come on. Ooh, being dramatic there, are we? No. Oh, wait, he fell off. Yes! Because <laughs> I got his item, so I'm assuming that he died. I saw that he, get, he dropped a key or something, so maybe we can unlock something now in that building he's in. Yeah, okay, he's dead. He's not even coming back. That's good. So, let's pull this. Contraption key. Is that the key that I just did I just got from that guy? I'm assuming it is. Hi. You okay? I believe. I feel the scent of ash upon thee. 
without the one of whom Uncle Gale spoke. The one to show me flame. Tis okay. good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Tis good. I'll head off to paint. I promised Uncle Gale I would. Alrighty then. And the question is, can I... Is there a bonfire here? I would really appreciate if there was. Go for me. Oh, the bonfire. Well, let you look at that. Alright, so there doesn't really seem to be anything to the right here, so let's just go in here. Uh, something over there, but I don't really care. Didn't mean to rhyme. But you know what, it's fine. Prism sounds cute. Um, okay, so there are those, these are those spear throwy guys again. So I should be careful with that. Okay, damn, that's a lot of them. Okay, drink once. Now keep rolling. And just keep moving, because I'm going to assume they're not done throwing their spears yet. No, they are not. That's fine. I'm not done rolling yet either, so we're good. Anything here near this bell? Hi. Oh. No, you don't. Don't mind me, guys. Ah, damn it. I know where to go now, if that's good at least. Means I can get there faster as well. If I just keep moving. Okay, just keep moving. Hey. What's this? Alright. See, that's what I really love about Dark Souls, how quickly the environment can change. Hi. You guys seem kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But you're not really attacking me either. Well, you are, but you're not doing it well, so... Hidden path ahead. Oh, hello. Alright, then where does this lead? Oh, they're all feeding or something. Okay, this is a big one. Blood gem. Cool. Don't, don't mind me, guys. I'm just gonna pull this. What, what does this do? As ashes will be, ever seeking fire. Alright, well I'm not sure what that did. But I kinda get the feeling we should return to, uh... Ooh, Wilhelm's armor. Oh, uh, is he being eaten, eaten alive by bugs? Now I feel bad. Nope. Oh, that's fine though. Let's just make our way out of here. Let's go back to the last bonfire. Alright, so I get the feeling that she's not going to be entirely pleased with me. Freed? Be forewarned, eager Ash. Should this world wither and rot, even then would Ariandel remain our home. Leave us be, Ashen One. Sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. Um... Leave us be, Ashen One. Sweep all thought... Okay, so she's just repeating herself. I see flame. 
Finn fluttering once again. Not enough blood yet, Shade. My flail. Bring me my flail. Ah, Frida. What stops thine ears? Please, my flail. Right away. Hi. misguided ash. Please avert thine eyes. I will snuff out these ashes for good. Uh oh. Okay. Sister Freed. I'm out afraid of some nun. Alright, so this boss battle was actually my favorite, I think one of my favorite Dark Souls 3 bosses that I've had so far. So to start off, you fight with Sifter Freed. Sifter Freed is not the hard part here, because her attacks, they have like a long buildup, she gets staggered easily, and they're very easy to avoid in general, as you can see right here. Just good positioning here is key, and knowing when to back off. Did I just take my distance whenever she looks like she's about to get a hit in and just wait for her to finish her combo before getting in. Now what she does often is right here, she goes invisible. But if you can actually follow her, you can quickly follow up before she can do anything. Again, just wait for her to actually try something and just get a backstab in. Or just a normal few hits because she gets staggered very easily as you can see right here. Again, she goes invisible. She goes to the left, but if you stay close to her, she becomes visible again. She tries to charge up her most dangerous move. But you can back backstab her immediately, doing some more damage. So yeah, she's not very hard. There's no real strategy here, just avoiding until she gets done with one combo. And comboing on her in return, because she gets staggered very easily. If she does the invisible attack, just get up close to her. Look at the puffs of smoke, so you can see where she goes when she's invisible, and just boil on her. So yeah, not difficult at all, you can see, just getting back, wait until she's finished with, finished with a combo, and then just counter. It's invisible, you can see by the tough puff of smoke as she goes to the left. Go in for a backstab. Before she can charge up her attack. And just finish her off. That's the first stage.
Now in the second stage, they both fight you together. Now this stage isn't hard at all actually. Because Freed only has one long range attack. So what you want to do is to stay away from her as much as you can. And just focus on Uri and Del completely. What Freed does is she has that long range attack where she uh, throws Frost onto the ground and these pillars shoot up. But it's very easy to avoid and if you, even if you don't avoid it you might get Frost bitten. But all it does is slow down stamina regen and give you a tiny bit of damage so it's not difficult at all. So just stay away from Freed, let her do her long range attack and just focus on Ariandel. What Ariandel mostly does is just try and charge you. But if you can avoid the initial charge you can just get up behind him and hit him. Very very easily. Now the problem here with this with this part is mainly uh, that sometimes Freed will hit you with her long range attack. And Ariandel, if he does hit you, it actually does a lot of damage. Like his attacks are slow, but they are very powerful. So you can see again that I just kind of take notice of where Freed is, make sure that I'm staying far enough away from her, and just focus on Ariandel again. Try to do that flame attack, which gives me more than enough time to just wail on him, make sure Freeze can hit me. Sometimes you can get a critical in, as I did right in, right here. If you combo on him enough, he gets to do a critical attack, which does a lot more damage. And his recovery animation actually takes a while, so you can get even more hits in. So yeah, it's kind of like the Ornstein and Smo boss fight, but a lot, lot easier, because all that Arendelle really does is try and charge at you. Which means you can get like a lot of hits in, and if you stay far far enough away from Freed, all she can really do is her uh, long range attack. But you can see that Freed here tried to heal Arendelle. The way I figured that one out is because there was like a glow off of Arendelle. In the second stage, she's going to try and go invisible every now and again, and when she goes invisible, she's going to try and heal Arendelle. Now, if she gets a good heal off, then this entire fight basically starts over. You can heal him up a lot, so I need to be very careful for that. And second stage, just pay more attention to what Freed is doing. Because if she goes invisible, then I immediately know that I need to find her before she gets the heal off. Again, same thing here. Just stay far enough away from Freed, with Arendelle try and charge at you. That's the annoying thing, like I, couldn't, I wanted to hit Arendelle here, but then she put her long range attack like at the exactly the wrong spot for me. But it wasn't too difficult though. Arendelle also has a few different attacks, which are, which are all close range. But they can't really do much if you're far enough away like I am. Again, you saw Freed go invisible. Quickly got in a backstab and found her before she could actually heal him at all. Now it is very easy to die in the stage, mainly because of the fact that Ariandel does so much damage. And if he does get like a good two hits in, then it can end immediately. So you need to be very careful for that. And he tries to charge at me, I avoid. Wait over there, so she uses a long range attack over there, meaning I have more than enough time. To well on Ariandel. Annoyingly they were quite close at this point. And you can see that Freed goes invisible again right over there. I need to get past the flames and find her before she actually got managed to get a heal off. Because otherwise it would start all over. So you can see you can look at Ariandel's health bar and she only got like maybe one second of healing in and you can see how much difference it already made. So I'm glad I managed to stop the healing but she did get a little bit in and it actually made this uh, second stage a lot longer than it should have been. I did get one good combo in over there however and at this point I was very close to killing Ariandel already. I just needed to make sure that she didn't go invisible again because she does like doing that in the second stage especially once it looks like Arendelle's about to die. 
two flanks to go invisible and just heal him up fully. And with one final hit, Iron Dog goes down. You hear the familiar sound of a boss dying. And suddenly... This is without doubt the hardest part of this entire boss battle, and that's the third stage. In this stage, she staggers again very easily, but she gets a lot of new combos in, and they're a lot more dangerous. She also goes invisible again, then she does two ice attacks, but then she tries to charge up for a very powerful attack. And this charge up gives you the perfect opportunity to just combo on her, as you can see me doing right here. But the difficult thing about this boss, about this part, is that she does a lot of damage, and she's actually really fast. Especially this move is very annoying, because you need to basically dodge it twice. Once for the initial landing, and she also kind of shoots off a beam of dark energy, that you also need to avoid. And her combos are also very quick. But I can actually manage to avoid them quite well by just uh, rolling, to, rolling away from her, and diagonally to the left. That's how I managed to avoid most of her attacks. But you can see that I got hit once there, and you can see how much damage it did to my health bar immediately. Also, I, in the second stage I had the Sun Princess ring for the gradual HP restoration. But in this one I just fully switched over to the F-Death ring, plus the, ring that, plus the one that gives you more damage uh, when, you're, when you have full health. Now when her um, scythe glows blue, and she charges at you, and this is the most dangerous attack of all, because if she hits you with that, she basically does this animation where she slices your throat, and then you die instantly. It's actually a really cool animation as well, but that, this attack right there, if you hit me with that, that would have been it. You die instantly. And that's actually what's been ending, been ending all of my attempts so far. This was a problem, because I wasn't exactly sure where she was until she did that long range attack. Then she actually I managed to get that off as well, which is very annoying. But again here she tries to charge it up and give her the opportunity to. And I keep hitting. And you can see how much difference this uh, boss this stage of the boss fight was compared to the other two. For the other two I only needed um, two Eftus for both of them. And this one I'm only one th like maybe one fifth of her health bar is down and I've already gone through five of my Estus. So this one is, like, without a doubt, the much harder one. But strategy-wise, it isn't actually all that different from stage one. It just gets a lot more hard to avoid all of her attacks. Especially seeing as when you do get hit, they do a lot more damage. But this attack, I tried to avoid it multiple times by rolling to her right or to her left. But it doesn't work. She always manages to catch up with you no matter what. So uh, you, like, the only way to actually properly avoid that one is to just roll backwards. And that's what I did. Again, same here. Now, I did get hit here by that beam of hers, and you can see how much damage that did immediately. At this point, I tried to switch rings again to the Sun Princess ring, but I wasn't—I didn't have enough time to do so. And luckily for me, she went invisible here again, and she's over there. And over there. And again, she tries to charge up, but I don't give her the chance to by backstabbing her immediately. I'm just staying far enough away from her. But she has a lot of different moves now, and like they're all very hard to dodge. That was the main problem here. She was just gra gradually making me use all my after and building my health away. But if you do get one good combo and you can do a lot of damage as, at once, and that's how I immediately got her to almost half health, much quicker than I got her down at first. Again, same here, tried to combo on her. I got a lot more confident at this part of the uh, boss battle. I just kind of knew that she was basically just like stage 1, so I wasn't too worried anymore. I was a lot more focused and kind of knew what to do, basically.
She does manage to hit me with this one sometimes, which is very annoying, because I'm so used to actually rolling back for most of her attacks that when she does that attack, I actually have to roll sideways, and I'm just not, like, fully prepared for that. Again, she goes invisible. You can see by a puff of smoke that she's jumping up behind you. She does the first attack. Then she does the second one. And then she tries to charge up for her most powerful attack, which means I can get up behind her. And backstab her. And when she tries to get up, combo her some more for some extra damage. Again, same thing here. That's a good thing about that charge. If you do manage to avoid it, you can do a lot of damage in one go. At this point, I was out of Ephthys and I was very cautious. Again, I tried to switch rings, but I just knew that I didn't have enough time. I was happy that you went invisible, because these ones are generally quite easy to dodge. Again, she does a charge, a combo a few times. Not as, well, not as well as the other ones, but still, you know, still a good two hits, so that's not too worrying. At this point, I was very conscious because she was very low on health, but then again, so was I. I didn't want to take any chances. She unfortunately did hit me there, which was really scary. And my combo also didn't really seem to land anymore, which is even worse. Again, tried to go in for a hit, didn't work. Now I had less than half of my health left. And she just managed to avoid every single thing I tried to do, which was very annoying. So she went to the right. Does her first attack, avoid that, keep track of her, avoid her second attack, and now she charges up. Get a backstab in, do some good damage, and I just finish it off with a combo, except for the last hit, which unfortunately, she actually managed to avoid. At this point I only need to get one hit in, and I was incredibly nervous, because I did not want to screw this up. Did get hit there, but with one lucky hit in, I managed to, with one quick hit, I managed to actually defeat her. And yeah, that was the final boss of the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. Alright, that boss out of the way. Wait, why are there two bonfires here? Travel to the Dreg Heap. Alright, let's go. Okay. Now, uh, question of the day. Where does this all lead? The drag heap. Hi. Oh, we are heads square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. But here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone-amped hag? 
I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. Oh, um, well, no business in particular, really. Keep your marbles intact, love. At least until I lose mine. Alright, so I'm trying to think that this is actually the next DLC, which would make sense. Take the plunge. Yeah, okay, now this is definitely the next DLC. Well, before we move on, I should probably go back to Firelink Shrine and actually use all those souls that I've got. By the way, uh, in the previous video, the Great Wolf and Grave and Champion's Grave Sender, all I did with their souls was literally just level up dexterity once. And with this one, I'll level it up again once. However, I'm quite sure I picked up quite a few. Yeah, I did. Heart Soul of Crestfall Knight. Soul of Freed. Soul of Crestfall Knight twice again. Lord Soul of a Weary Warrior, sure, why not? Let's see. Ooh, twice even. Nice. Alright. Level 87. Not bad. Seeing as we just took out the last boss of the first DLC and actually f completed it, I think we should call the part here. Next time what we're going to do is move on to the next DLC, which is also actually the final one for Dark Souls 3. So yes, it's the beginning of the very, very end. But that's all for next time. For now I just want to say thank you all for watching. This has been Dark Souls 3 with no weapons and no armor. And I'll see you all next time.